Good morning, everyone. Today I will talk about my paper. The title of my paper is the characteristics of the design of Ming Dynasty Palace Festival customers. I come from City University. My supervisor is Dr. Noah Hafiza Ismail. My name is Chen Lu. Now let's start. There are six parts in my paper. Part 1, Introduction, Part 2, Literature Review, Part 3, Data Collection and Methodology, Part 4, Findings, Part 5, Conclusion, Part 6, References. Part 1, Introduction. There are two Parts in my part one introduction. The first is introduction to the late Ming Dynasty customer diversity. The late Ming Dynasty spanning from late 16th century to the early 16th century is characteristic by the prosperity and the cultural richness. This is sufficient and the regional characteristics are observed in the four customers' designs showcasing varied terroring, color matching, and pattern designs. Social status distinctions are evidence in the customer with noticeable differences among officials, merchants, and farmers reflecting the societal class structure. The second part, impact of festival on Ming Dynasty customers. Various festival and the customer significantly influence in late Ming Dynasty for customer contributing to rich cultural connotation in terms of color, patterns, and designs. The rulers seeking to break the monotony of the palace life incorporated the wire brunt and the colorful elements of folk activities into clothing during different festivals. Seasonal changes are reflected in festival customers with patterns corresponding to occasions and themes derived from traditional Chinese festival culture. The festival customers' unique artistic characteristics are shaped by the influence such as festival culture, commodity economy, culture, atmosphere, palace system, scientific and technology progress, and ideological collisions. From this picture, you can see a general idea of the basic appearance of the festival customers of the Ming Palace. The picture's name is Ming Xianzong's Long-Term Festival Celebration Painting. Part 2, Literature Review. There are three parts in my literature review. First, seasonal festival culture and the community in timing. The timing of this festival reflects the interaction and the adaptation of natural rhythm and the social rhythm. Emphasizing the shared cultural significance across different um, regions. The second part, cultural meaning of clothing and the seasonal festival customers in Ming Dynasty. Chinese festival customers in the late Ming Dynasty incorporate traditional cultural elements such as dragon, phonics, and butterfly patterns, and so on, symbolizing respect and the inheritance of Chinese traditional culture, whereas patterns correspond 
to different seasons and uh, festivals, uh, forming a stable system. The third part, design elements of uh, Ming Dynasty festival customers, colors, materials, and uh, symbolic uh, embroidery. Festival customer of Ming Dynasty showcase the elegance and the luxury through the use of silk, intricate golden and silver through embroidery, and the symbolic patterns like dragons and the phonics reflecting sensitivity to natural season and beauty. In summary, this exploration devolves into the diversity of China's seasonal festival culture. The cultural significance of the crossing and the seasonal customers in the Ming Dynasty and the unicorn design elements of the Ming Dynasty festival customers, emphasizing the rich cultural symbols and the social expression embodied in clothes. Part 3, Data Collection and uh, Method Orage. I conducted my data collection using qualitative research method Orage. The methods I used as follows, physical examination, documentary research, image analysis, and interviews. Part 4 Findings. In this part of the findings, I analyze the detailed design characteristics of the festival customs of the main content from four aspects. The first part is the second material, third colors, the fourth cutman strip. Let's start with the patterns. The first part is the pattern through the design pattern of the boots and the monk clothes. I analyzed the importance of the festival on special patterns on festival customers. Finger one deceives the uh, Wudu Ai Hu boots. Finger two is a picture of Ming Dynasty one Li years of the ground boots. This is the Hmong clothes. For the Ming Dynasty, another auspicious clothing. This is the animal named Hmong. This is the dragon. You can see the difference between the two animals. The monk have four claws, the dragon have five claws. The second part is materials. During the Ming Dynasty, a variety of the silk products were prevalently for the palace seasonal festival clothes, with the material money consisting of the wearer silk fabrics. Uh, the most fab famous fabric is Zhu Si. Zhu Si silk fabric has replaced the brocaded and become a primary high-ended fabric. Emperors and officials in the Ming Dynasty forward the wearers to silk fabrics for their clothing. This is a picture of juicy silk. The next is gauze. The gauze fabrics were employed in the production of festival artery, reflecting a pursuit of a festival of atmosphere. In these festival garments, gauze often serves as the foundation. This is a red gauze for Duan Wu Festival. This is a yellow gauze for mid-autumn 
festival. The next part is uh, color. As shown in the figure eight, there are three dragon robes in light blue with embroidery golden dragons, vermilion with a golden dragon's pattern, and a yellow robe with a dragon pattern. Yellow, red, and light blue is a famous color in Ming Dynasty festival clothes. Finally, I this is the craftsmanship of the Ming Dynasty festival customers. I analysis this part from Zhonghua and Ambodori. Uh, Part 5 Conclusion The following conclusions can be drawn from exploring and analyzing the festival customer of the Ming, Ming Palace. The first inheritance and uh, innovation. The Ming Dynasty festival clothes show a science pattern not only inherited the traditional Chinese festival culture but also made an innovation on the basis of it. This reflects the continuation and the development of culture and make the customer more close to the social style of time. The next Conclusion, reflection on era characteristics. The Ming Dynasty Festival Clothes Show the Saints pattern highlights the characteristics of the era of the Ming Dynasty, reflecting the social system, the economic base, the cultural atmosphere, and the development of science and technology, the police system, the ideology, and the cultural facts such as impact. These elements together provide a rich background from the cultural phenomena of customers. The second conclusion about artistic factors. The customer shows the artistic features of fullness and delicacy, bright and rich, complicated, the thick in the composition of patterns, use of color and craftsmanship. This colorful performance is a highlight of Chinese embroidery art. The full conclusion, development uh, inference. The Ming Dynasty Year Festival dress clothes should be some patterns of the generation and the development by the influence of the various factor, including the social system, the economic base, the cultural atmosphere, the development of science and the technology. The police system, ideology, and the culture, this factor to varying degrees provided support for the emergency of the phenomenon. This is the conclusion. Part 6 is the reference. This is the references. Thank you for your listening, and I will thank my supervisor and uh, my school, City University, again. That's all. Thank you.